Hey, Dan. Yeah. Can you get me a cup of hot water? Yeah, sure. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Hot. What's up guys, Dan here, Cold Cracker Bushcraft. So hot water bottles, they are definitely a thing around camp and I have done a ton of videos on how to get these bad boys out of the campfire. But then once they're out of the campfire and they're sitting around, okay, they're still gonna be warm and hot and people are gonna have a hard time touching them. And if you bring your non-bushcraft friends, the people who don't watch Cold Cracker, okay, which, should you even hang out with those people? Yes, you should and you should get them involved in bushcraft and get them on the channel. But the point is, they're gonna be like, hey, can, can somebody help me get this water the, the thing's hot, this is hot, the, oh, that's hot, does anybody have gloves? So I found a really cool, easy way for you to set up the water bottle, the community water bottle, or the family water bottle that's hot around camp. So as everybody in the morning's eating breakfast and they're making their tea and hot chocolate or maybe they're a coffee, whatever they're doing, they can access that hot water without needing gloves or pliers or anything like that. And all it really requires is two pieces of paracord. Now, if you want to take it one step further, which I do suggest doing this if this is the setup you're gonna go with. I suggest getting two of these cord locks. I'm gonna show you how to do this both ways without cord locks, but the cord locks make it just so much easier for you and everybody else, and it's gonna be great. Now, if you don't have a cord lock, what you're gonna do on one or both of your pieces of paracord is you're gonna just put a slip knot. I know I'm like fidgeting with my fingers here, but you're gonna put a slip knot. So just a loop like this that slides when I pull it and make sure you put a stop knot in here also. Stop knot, very important so it doesn't slide off and you don't drop the water. Okay, so what you're gonna do with your bottle is you're going to put two pieces of rope onto the bottle itself. So the first one is gonna go around the top lip of the bottle. So this is gonna be the one, now if you have um, the cord locks, you could use this for both, but I'm gonna use the slip knot on the top. You literally just put it around the neck of the bottle and give it a little tug, okay? Um, the bottle is not gonna be that hot if you took it out of the fire that it should be melting this cordage. So give it like a minute or two and you'll be okay. And then the bottom portion is where I'm gonna use the one with the cord lock. So the cord lock, I'm just gonna slide over the bottle towards the bottom and I'm just gonna cord lock it like this so it's nice and tight. And now what that did was gave us a top and bottom point for this, look at it. Ooh, we could pour that and set it down and they can go on their way. So again, look, you just get these two, lean, pour, set down, and you're good. And then you can recover these really easily when you're all done. Keep them in your bag, your bag of friends and family kit. And then when you're out and about and you have hot water bottles, you can do this. All right, so there you go. That's today's friends and family trick, but you can do this for yourself around camp. Also, it works really, really nice to be able to pour those hot water bottles without your big heavy gloves on or pliers or sticks, just two pieces of rope. And if you really want to soup it up again, those cord locks and you can grab them things anywhere or just take them off an old coat that somebody doesn't use and you'll be fine. So if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. You can also check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com for all our cool stuff. And until next video, stay in the woods.